Now let us simplify this expression. So we have this expression and we need to simplify it. So let us first open the brackets. We have 3a plus 17b minus 25ab Since we have a plus sign here, so all the terms are written as they are. There is no change in sign. We have a negative sign here, so we need to change the signs of all the terms inside the bracket. So plus 4a becomes minus 4a, plus 6a square will become minus 6a square and minus 10ab will become plus 10ab. So this is what we have. Now we look for all the like terms. We have a 3a here. So we already taken b, ab, a square, b square, ab. We have another a term. So we take this minus 4a then a square a b so we have listed down all the terms having the variable part a these two are like terms now let's come to b we have plus 17 b so we have taken this a b a square, b square, a b, a square, a b. So there is no other term containing only b. So we write only 17 b. Now let us come to a b. So we have minus 25 a b. So we have taken this. Here is another a b term plus 5 a b. Another AB term, 10AB. So is there any other AB term left? No. So let us come to some other term, which is A square. Now let us take 6A square. Which is the other A square term? Minus 6A square. So we have taken this as well and now let us come to b square. So we have minus 10b square. So is there any other b square term left? No, there is no b square term left. Now we can simplify all the like terms. So we get 3a minus 4a gives us minus a. Plus 17b remains as it is. Minus 25ab plus 5ab plus 10ab. So let us take these two. Minus 25ab plus 5ab gives us minus 20ab. Minus 20 plus 10 gives us minus 10. So we get minus 10 AB. Plus 6 A square minus 6 A square. So we have a 0 here. And minus 10 B square. So we have minus 10 B square. So we get the answer as minus a plus 17b minus 10ab minus 10b square. 